Well, hello there, you sweet big Lebowski toe beans. It is your boy, them curvy toes. And I woke up today, beans, and you know what I thought? I thought I haven't played Rogue Genesia for y'all in a while. We haven't busted this game wide open in a uh, quite a few episodes, so I thought, what a perfect, perfect way to, uh, to spend my evening recording some Rogue Genesia for y'all, busting it wide, wide open. Hey, thank you so much for all the love you guys have been showing the channel as of late. really does mean a lot. Uh, make sure you like today's video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It's free, only takes a second, and it helps me out tremendously. With that out of the way, Beans, let's get into it. We are going to start a new run. And we are actually going to be playing on Survivor's Mode today, which is the, the Endless Mode. And we're going to be doing an E rank because that is the... <laughs> Highest one that we have. So let's get into it. So I've done this a little bit. Uh, kunai. You know what? We're going to go with Death Aura just to be safe. And Spear. Absolutely. And Heavy. 200 max health. 125 projectile size. Space damage. Less speed. Less move speed. Yeah, sure. Why not? So we're going to take that more attack area. Yeah, that'll go really well with our aura. Now we are moving a little bit slower. Ah, we do have a magnet up there. I will have to remember to hold on to that. And we are going to take another upgrade on spear. So we do have two additional projectiles off the rip, which is totally fine by me. Uh, what do we want here? More projectile size and damage for no no none of this addition no less additional project maybe maybe yeah we're gonna take area for right now though just to err on the side of caution beans i hope y'all are having a wonderful wonderful day i uh i can i'm still uh quite a quite a bit under the weather i'm sure you can can hear it in my voice uh nothing nothing serious at the very least but Man, do I feel like absolute shit. I tell you what. Uh, less defense for more damage? Sure. When has no defense ever worked out poorly for us, Beans? <coughs> oh, 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 Jesus. Speaking of feeling like death. There you have a prime example. Ah, yes, the floor chicken. I do love the floor chicken. More crit chance. Ooh, Thunderstaff. Yeah, why not? We might just go for a for an aura build this time, or like a uh, orbital, and taking damage, increase base defense by two for three seconds. Eh, sure. Which would take our base defense to two, <laughs> 69 kills. Oh damn it! Slow enemies down on hit by 15 percent. When you are moving. Ooh, both of those are so good. We're gonna take that though. When we are moving, we do more damage. And I like I like moving. Uh, we are gonna take eh, more projectile size, why not? Oh, that's right, spear is aimed. I cannot play this with one hand. Three additional projectiles for a little less base damage. Absolutely. I mean, I know I said we're going with aura and orbitals. But the uh, additional projectiles do apply to the Thunder Orbs of Murder as well. Size up is purely beneficial, so we're going to take that. And we are just going to be stomping every... Ho, 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 ho. Uh, or Cleaver. I like Cleaver. We're going to go with Cleaver. Cleaver and Spear are both going to be great abilities to kind of front load some of the damage while the Auras and Orbitals are going to take care of everything else. Uh, we're going to take more attack speed for a little less damage. I mean, it'll take us right back down to about 100%, which is not great. Max health multiplier, 350%. Excellent. And yeah, we're going to we're going to take more sp more spearier spears. And no, I can't do it. More more death aura. More death aura. Let's see what else we got here. Less area for more damage. 
or 25% critical chance. Yeah, we're going to take 25%. Uh, our auras can't crit. I don't know. Or our one aura can't crit. I'm not sure about anything else. Yeah, we're going to take that. For a little less attack speed, that's fine. I am really, really excited for the uh, .8 update of this game. It sounds like they're going to be adding a whole bunch of content, like absolute focus, Spanish average. Oh, okay. So we took this one last time. Uh, now that means we don't have like shit for a chance to critical, but we still have a lot of critical cards in the pool. Maybe the aura build is not the uh, not the move at this point. Uh, well, we're gonna grab that for right now, just, just because. Well, I mean, it's never bad to get a bunch of damage up. Right, base damage, we're gonna grab that as well. And we are making quick and easy work of all these goblins and one-eyed bats. Uh, more projectile piercing and more defense piercing, sure. Why not? Now, I still definitely haven't unlocked everything there there is to unlock in this game. Uh... See, I don't know if you can have, like, a maximum number of abilities is the problem. So we're just going to take the max health. Because Worm Gland is... <coughs> excuse me. Worm Gland isn't bad, per se. I just really, really like some of the other abilities more. And, yeah, we'll go with the two base health regeneration. And... All right. More base health, more base defense, or an additional projectile. Additional projectile it is. Let's see how far we can take this into endless mode, Beans. Projectile size and knockback, but less attack speed. Eh. We're just going to take another upgrade to Death Aura. Aura Borealis. And higher crit chance. Perfect. I don't know if it's possible to get to 100% crit chance in this game, but... Okay. We're going to hold on off on that. We are just going to take the... That right there. The, the max health multiplier, because we have, like, no defense whatsoever right now, which is... You know, not the end of the world right now, but when we start getting bosses and elites spawning, then that becomes problematic. We're going to do a reroll on that. And we're going to take that for the damage multiplier. And get a, another level? Question mark? There we go. Up to two and a half base health regeneration. Perfect. Now, I have played Endless Mode in this game a bit before. Um, I got pretty far along and uh, one uh, okay okay uh, do I do it again yeah why not every time I'm like I should take defense and every time I'm like ooh big damage no defense perfect but it's working out all right for us right now right sure yeah, we're going to take more more orbital damage just to take care of anybody that does get a little too close for comfort. And we are going to take our base health way up or our base health up and that with the additional health multiplier will take our actual health way way up there. And with all this regen we'll more more cleavers, cleavery or cleavers. I want to knock these cactuses over. Now, there is an achievement for teleporting the cactus. I did unlock it. I don't remember how, but I was like, hmm. I saw it, and I was like, I don't know how you do that. And it's and There's something like an ability where you, when you hit an enemy, you teleport them, I think, and that's how I did it. And so I was just like, huh. 1,013% max health multiplier. Absolutely. Max health is where it's at. And... Yeah, we're gonna go with that. The little bit of hit on attack speed isn't ideal. But it's not big enough to really warrant a negative reaction. 800% critical damage, absolutely. 
We're not critting that much, but when we do, it's going to be for big, big numbers. And I'm hoping we can really get our crit chance up before we get to the first boss. Now, the aura cannot crit. Apparently, Dead Demon is now playing Hell Let Loose. I got to turn off the overlay at some point. And here's our first elite. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. Huh. Yeah, we're going to... Okay, you've defeated a great foe. Select your artifact. Taking damage gives one free reroll every time you select cards. Food increases max health by 1.5%, up to 300%. Commissioning returns after 33 foods. More max health. Is, more max health is good. Because we are currently defenseless. And I mean that about as literally as I possibly can. The best defense is a multi-projectile offense, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that free reroll might have been nice, but we do still have plenty of rerolls to burn, and we haven't really been getting too poor of luck with our abilities. Uncrate broken, increase area size by 10% for 15 seconds, capped at 50%. Yeah, sure. No, you know what? We're going to do a rarity reroll on that. 33% chance to ignite enemies on hit. Okay. Much rather would have that than some sort of Breaking Crate ability. Breaking Crate is very much like Breaking Bad, I've heard. So let's kill off some of these enemies and fire a bunch of spears into their skulls. Oh, I, I don't know why, but the, the XP sound... For the sound of, like, picking up XP in this game is just so satisfying. Just, like, the, the slight increase in, in pitch and volume. Ooh. They really... Uh... Huh. Eh, sure, why not? More attacks can't hurt. Oh, and we got Skelly Boys coming, but they are proving no problem for us. More Cleaver. Now, the one thing with wind blades is they are just to the side, and that's not necessarily the best attack, but, I mean, it, we do have a fair bit of protection around us. Three health regeneration sounds good, especially considering we have absolutely no defense. Overworked. Okay, so this is where I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We're going to take big-ass critical damage and just really, really hope that uh, we get some more health upgrades. What do we got here? More Thunder Staff. Yes, please. We got a nice halo of effects around us. Actually gonna do a rarity reroll on this. Yep, take us up to 500% damage multiplier. Sounds good to me, beans. And that'll take us up to 586% damage multiplier, which again, sounds lovely. Uh, oh, I, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot this game had dash. It's been a while since I've played. Huh, okay, well, uh, didn't take that upgrade because I haven't felt a need to use it. And we are going to take the upgrade to critical chance. 10% damage mitigation, that is actually going to be huge with our complete and utter lack of defenses. More spears! And we are getting mobbed on right now, which is 1,800% oh, <laughs> critical damage. Absolutely. It's a good feeling because we're just cutting a cutting a swath through everything that we, that we touch. I should have taken the crit damage upgrade, but is what it is more yeah we're gonna take more max health because with 500 percent health multiplier each five percent health gives us or each 10 health gives us like 50 more health right like in my poor poorly mathematical mind inflict damage when you get hit by enemies no i love the ability but i just it does not work with a low defense build. I did have a build with that where I went like thorns in auras and just 
Thorns are as Thunder Orbs in, like, defense. And I just... I think I talked about it in the last video, too. I just stood still, basically. And, uh... <laughs> just let everything break itself upon me. Uh, yeah, we'll go for a little less XP. We're leveling up so fast right now, anyways. I might regret that down the line, but... I mean, that's most of my decisions. Doesn't ever stop me from making them. Size, uh, 20% damage mitigation, absolutely. So if and when something does get close enough to touch us, then we will be somewhat safe. And the enemies are thinning out. Why is that? No, I want more enemies. I want enemy or enemies. And we're close to a level up. Yeah, everything we uh, we come near is dead at this point. That could change when we see the first boss spawn, but such is such is life. 14.9% critical chance. With all the additional critical damage we're dealing, we really need to spec into that for all these multi-projectile attacks because the crit damage is going to be fucking insane. I kind of wish the auras could crit. I don't know. I, I feel like... Yeah, that might get really, like, really busted, I guess. I think thorns can crit, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not really sure, though. Oh, we got somebody shooting lasers at us. Who's over here doing ranged attacks? I don't like that. Oh, and now they're over here and over there. All right, we may not be as... Log for this world as I had hoped, Beans. We got a lot of, a lot of projectile enemies coming and trying to make love to our face. God, I'm so like sinusy and gross right now. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. More max. Oh God. Taking a lot of damage here. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of enemies with projectiles currently, so maybe uh, maybe the no defense was a bad idea now that I think about it. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Plus 100% health regen. Health can regen up to 200% of your max health. Perfect. That is going to be huge, especially with all these projectile ass enemies. I think that's the scientific term. Projectile ass sword of ring. Yes, please. Like, I don't know. That's just as a concept. That is the coolest shit ever. It's a sword that is also a boomerang. What's not to love about that? I mean, also the additional projectiles applies to it as well. So we're literally just throwing. I don't even know how many at this point. A lot, a lot of sword of rings around us. In a very disorderly fashion. Hey, we're level 69. Very nice. We are already 14.3 thousand kills deep. In the mushrooms and goblins and eye bats and whatnot. Next upgrade means I am going to have to hydrate. Your boy is thirstier than a high school dude at prom. And carving our way through these bats and these mushrooms. Yeah, you know, we're gonna pop this just to be safe. That's an elite dealt with. That's an elite dealt with. We are melting the faces of everything that comes near us. God, that is what I love so much about this game. It's so easy to just break this shit. And like, when this shit gets broken, it gets broken. Like, to the point where... Where is everything? <laughs> There's like so much going on right now. Windblade. All right, so we're already getting uh, getting the second health bar, which is good. I was a little worried there. All the projectile enemies were certainly giving us a little bit of a tough time. These elites are going to provide us with a lot of experience. Hopefully some food so we can start buffing up our max health as well. And there we go, killing so many elites that the sound for the level up went away for a while. But it's back now, so we're fine. I wrote you beans that song. I hope you liked it. 
I feel like our health is really high, but our regen is kind of low, and that's what's sort of killing us at the moment. Not killing us. I just feel like it would be a wise investment to get higher, uh, higher regen. Again, with a completely defenseless build. There we go. Hey, we did get it back. I need to hydrate here real quick, Beans. I need you to hold your sweet Toby and horsies for just a moment. <sighs> All right. Thank you. You guys are beautiful, and I appreciate you holding on for your boy. All right. I want one of these elites to drop a magnet if they could. That would be just swell. Just stellar, if I do say so myself. I guess it's time to go crate hunting at this point, because we're not having any luck with that. And when we do inevitably find a magnet, all this XP that we're leaving behind will be drawn to us like flies to shit. And, eh, well, that's some more max health, which I appreciate. And we are just cruising around, doing the heckin' best that we can. Level 71. I feel like we've been playing a while since we were <laughs> level 69, but I haven't been prioritizing level up, leveling up, I suppose. Still no crate, huh? Or still no magnet. That's what I was looking for. All right, more health regeneration. I actually talked about something and remembered to do it. That's, uh... Not a very common occurrence on this channel. Alright, more health. More health, good. More health. So, you know, that is the, the nice part, is we can... Even with the, uh... Us being at pretty much full health, we can still get a benefit from the floor chickens. That's the like. That's the kind of enemies I like to see. More defense piercing, more projectile piercing. That's gonna be good. Can somebody please drop a magnet though? That would be really, really just a stellar set of circumstances that we would find ourselves in. I mean, I'm not complaining. I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about this build so far. It's kind of like a hybrid aura projectile crit build. And you can tell what hits are crits and what aren't because more health regen. All because all of a sudden it's like little bit, little, little bit, and completely and utterly D E A D dead. We are probably gonna level a lot if we ever do find a magnet, and that's feeling like a fairly large if at this point. Stop it with your oh hey here's the first boss, and uh, we are definitely making oh well that must have been a magnet. And there we go, that's the <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> that's the first boss dealt with. Increase experience gain by 100%. Reduce... Uh, doubles our damage. We don't need that. We don't need that. We need the max health. We're gonna have to pick between four soul cards. We're gonna take double experience. Oh, what? There's two of them? I already killed you, sir. I guess it was your twin brother. There we go. Huh. Doubles your day. <laughs> yep, fuck it. Every time. Every time I'm like, this is a terrible idea. And then I do it anyways. But, you know. Double damage. I do like doubling my damage. Plus we got double XP now. 18.4% crit chance, which is huge. 67% chance to ignite enemies. Most of them aren't going to survive long enough, which is just fine. I'm going to go up to 1,435% damage for a little less attack speed. That's okay. Mm. We're going to do a flat reroll there. Ah, 27. Okay, one quarter, over one quarter of our hits are going to be critical, but we're going to be attacking fairly less often. All right. We're going to take our max health back up. And our attack speed back up. And more penetration. 
Mm, less attack area. For big fat... Nah, more base health. More base health is good. Yeah, we'll take just more area without any negatives. We'll do a rarity reroll on that. Yeah, we'll take another upgrade to Windblade. And... Yes, please. 430% max health multiplier. Oh, man. Now we got seagulls coming out of the woodwork. Mine! Mine! I did go on, like, a whole ass tangent last time, I believe, of, like, how they were the real bad guys in the movie. We're gonna go up to 14.5 base damage. Which I believe just scales the damage of all of our abilities up. So... 2300% uh, critical damage. Don't mind if I do. So when we crit, it's gonna hurt. And yes, please, more sword orangs. Sword orang ear, sword orang, sword orangutan. Practice for more attack speed, more multiplier. Yep. I mean, it's a common card, but no downsides. Yeah, we'll take the final upgrade on that just to get a little more a little more leeway between us and the bad boys. Bad boys, what you gonna what you gonna do? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> we're just going to pretend that didn't happen if that's okay. You know what? We keep seeing it. We're going to take worm gland, whatever. I like the I like the idea of shooting like poisonous gloop goop. Augustus gloop. <laughs> Um, uh, like, we're just, like, carrying around the dismembered remains of a worm and, like, shooting poison giblets out of it. It's a great idea for, like, a, uh, metal, metal album art. Uh, album art. I, weird inflection there. I'm struggling today, Beans. But what is not struggling is this build. Holy shit. Yeah, more, more worm gland, why not? Should probably go look for a magnet again. Can we get one here? Nope, that is a regen potion, which I don't know if we were at max already, but if we weren't, we certainly are now. We got some stuff hitting us here and there. I'm not sure what, how, or why, but what I do know, Beans, is that A, I love you, and B, we are doing the damage. I'll tell you what. Hmm. Maybe. Nope. More crit damage. Ooh, and we've already got, like, big crystal clusters dropping. That's how you know we're getting a good chunk of a way into a run. Sword of Rang Ear. Sword of... Nah, more Thunderstaff. And itching my nose, so playing with one hand. That was probably too much information, but... Then again, most of the things that I say on this channel are... I don't know if I told you guys about the time I, I pissed my pants in sixth grade. First day of sixth grade, pissed my pants. And uh, I feel like I did, but it's a good story, so I'll tell it again for those of us, those of you just joining us now. It was the first day of sixth grade, we were out on recess, and like, I don't know, I had to pee and like, didn't know, yes, queen, as the kids would say. Didn't know like, how to, how to ask the teacher, I was like, hey, you know, can I go to the bathroom? Because I'm just like an idiot, I guess. And so, at recess on the first day of sixth grade, just pissed my pants. Just straight up pissed my pants first day of sixth grade. And like, it was a, it was like an overcast kind of rainy day. So I threw myself face first into a puddle in front of a bunch of people. So they wouldn't know that I pissed my pants. And to this day, I still think I got away with it. Like, it was insane you know, of me to do. I should have just been like, oh, I pissed my pants. I should probably call my mom and, like, have her come get me home. But, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually proud of the, the quick, albeit self-destructive thinking on my part in that particular circumstance. That was back before I damaged my brain with a misspent youth. Probably not capable of thinking that cleverly now, but when it was an option, means it was beautiful, I'll tell you. But look at all that XP. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the tale of the time I pissed my pants in the first day of sixth grade. I don't know if y'all were expecting, like, some Homer's Odyssey or anything. I hope not, if you're coming to this channel, but... 
it's a, it's a fun little anecdote. That's uh, it's a good party story. I don't go to parties, and I feel like you know if I'm trying to break the ice, maybe talking about pissing myself isn't a isn't a great one. You know what? Never mind. Terrible party story. Wait. Oh, I thought they were like the same upgrade. I got real bamboozled there. More attack speed. <coughs> oh, oh god, my lungs are exploding. I feel like we haven't seen an elite in a while. I mean, we have seen a lot of death, and that's, I guess, what truly matters. I gotta go find a crate. Get more health. Oh. Or more. There it is. Oh, on kill, increased damage by 7.5% for two and a half, two point, two and a quarter seconds up to 200%. So we're pretty much always going to be pretty much at the max of that, especially if enemies are coming at us like this. I mean, you can see the stacks there are just going out of control. Hey, our first uh, elite of this normal. Uh, yeah, we're going to reroll these. Fully heal you on level up. Uh, 25% damage, 25% move speed, 25% health, 25% pickup range. Reroll again. Bukaki Pearl, increase monster amount by 20%, reduce monster health. Mm. We're gonna take that. Less health, more enemies is just a lot. 20% more XP at 20% easier to get levels. That wasn't really a sentence I'm proud of. Or a sentence at all, if I'm if I'm being honest. Uh seven <laughs> Okay. Alright, you've convinced me. I like projectiles. What can I say? I like projectiles, I like damage, I like big crits. And we're already at over 20% or 25% crit chance as far as I remember. Which I don't know. I haven't taken my temperature in a while. Holy shit, Beans. Speaking of, I got up to 102.5 the other night. That's scary. I don't think I've done that as an adult. I, like, went to my roommate and his girlfriend, and I was like, you know, I feel like they're, like, slightly adultier adults than I am. I was like, uh, at what point should I go to the hospital with a fever? And they're like, 103. I was like, mm, uh-oh. So then I just took enough ibuprofen to kill a gazelle, and, uh, fever broke. Uh, and, oh my god, like, my bed was so gross, like, just so sweaty, palm spaghetti, just, ugh, yeah, again, TMI, I know, but, like, beans, that was, it was not, it was not cool, it was not my proudest moment of, of being a human, yeah, we'll go back up on attack speed a bit, oh, look at all these elites, holy shit, give us some goodies, we're just gonna make our way around the ring and start killing them off. I mean, once I do enough damage to the entirety of the ring, so any enemies in the ring, they will, yeah, see there, eventually they do despawn, but I feel like even those guys as elites give a fair bit of XP, so. What are we doing? We're killing cactuses, we're making, making waves. Oh, now we got like guys firing magical shotguns at us. I don't like that. Yeah, we'll go up to go up to that. Oh, and oh, that was an elite. And so now we're gonna have another wave of elites and projectile guys. That se there seems to be like kind of like a, a progression that all these waves follow. And this is one of those where the math truly does stack up against you eventually. Um, like I had a build that I would have very easily carried me through. Uh, a D rank world with no problem and uh, last time I, I had a good run of endless mode and like eventually I, I just I succumbed and I think that's uh, no no all the projectiles I mean that's not what we're going for with this build but I just I love having all these projectiles it makes me feel big and strong Ooh, we're starting to take damage. Probably didn't help that we had butted a cactus there. 32% critical chance. All right, so we're at, at basically one third of our hits are criticals at this point. Okay. 
Maybe we should invest into like projectile lifetime a little bit because our cleaver isn't really hitting anything at this point. I mean, if something does get close enough to us, like the cleaver is going to knock a whole bunch of damage right through their mouth, teeth, face hole. And... Oh, it takes so long to level up in the late game on Crate Broken. No, I don't want that. We're going to do a rarity reroll. Yeah, it's another Sword of Ring. Like, crates are hard to find when I'm looking for them. You know, I'm not just getting, going around breaking crates willy-nilly. That would be poppycock. Poppycock, I say. Indubitably. Ah, more health. More healthier health. Level up sound is dead. Hopefully that gets fixed in the point eight update. But yeah, they're adding different like characters and shit. In the point eight update and like talents. I don't really know too much about it, but what I do know means that I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, we'll go over over thirty percent or over one third crit chance and grab this magnet while we're at it. Didn't even bust a level out with that. Okay. It's a little disheartening, but what are you going to do, I guess? We haven't stopped moving in quite a while. Which is good, because very early on we took that ability that uh, as long as we're moving increases our damage and our, I think, defense? I'm not really sure. But with it being capped at 0%, that doesn't matter. But damage... You know, damage is good. Damage is life. Damage is love. Damage is Shrek. That's a skelly boy dealt with. Food also attracts all soul gems, maybe. Can now pick between four soul cards or Gilgamesh's crown. We're gonna take Gilgamesh's crown. Heroic soul cards are now 200% more likely to appear. I do like heroic soul cards. That's the orange rarity ones, I believe. And then, yeah, because I went through that last time, I think, when I grabbed Gilgamesh's crown, and then, like, the red ones are, like, ascended or anointed or some some shit like that. I don't remember. But I got that confused. So, ha! There we go. Beans, I'm learning from my mistakes. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, I will rub it in the face of everyone around me to prove I'm not a complete and total imbecile. Look at all these crystals. Look at all these skellies. Look at all this murder and mayhem. Man, look at all those orbs surrounding us. I like that. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry, beans. Keep hearing my lungs exploding into the microphone. Alright, what do we got going on here? Alright, I feel like a boss maybe is about to spawn. Because things are really slowing down. I don't know. But hey, we're level 113. We're 26 minutes and 20 seconds in. And uh, we're not showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. And that, Beans, is what I like to hear. In the words of one of those rappers, I forget who. That's that shit I do like. Or no, wait. I think he said, that's that shit I don't like. Yeah, that's it. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. My, uh, my hip-hop cred has been revoked. I don't think I had any to begin with, but if I did, it's gone. I'm gonna put out a rap album. I don't know what I'll rap about. Can't say that I've sold too many drugs in my day. What do we got here? More attack area... Ah, yeah, more base health. Like, I don't know. Uh, what would I rap about? Just being sad. That's, there's like a whole market for that, man. Just be like, I'm sad and I'm bad at video games and I play like 28 hours a day. I know that's mathematically impossible, but it, I don't know, it rhymed. It was the first thing that came to my mind. <gasps> oh my god, I did it again. Bars. More attack speed, more... Eh, worm gland. Wormier glands. Damn, I'm just rhyming without even thinking about it. 
Maybe I should put out a rap album. When the whole squad rolling Play-Doh snakes. Oh God, I'm so like snotty and, and gross. I hate it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is probably not super fun to listen to at this point. Just like my nasally, like I'm, I'm kind of got a nasally voice to begin with, and now it's just fucking unbearable. 35% crit chance. Abso positive lootly. Oh wow, that is a lot of elites. I don't even know if that was like one of the, one of the circle elites. All right, we're just gonna pick a direction and go with it. Kind of cut a swath through all the enemies this way. I don't think that was one of the circles. I think it's just spawning that many elites. Okay. I like that. Give me a challenge. More additional, pro additionally or projectiles. Uh, yeah, look at that. Cutting through everything like a, a hot knife through warm butter. Or something. Yeah, we are, uh, we are fucking some faces right now. And one of these guys has to drop something like a magnet eventually, right? That sounded like food. Hey, there's a magnet. We got it from a crate, but... Thunderstaff... Yeah, we'll take the max level upgrade on that just in case. Just in Bieber case. Get it out of the item pool, if nothing else. Ugh! No, I don't think it's possible to, like, upgrade, because there's, that, that's how you unlock evolutions, like, there's achievements to level, essentially over-level certain items to level 8, uh, which you can do through shops, and I don't think there's a way to do it in endless mode, at least not that I found. I would like to see maybe, you know, like, one of the bosses can drop, like, a shopkeeper token or something, or, like, it's a rare chance for an elite to drop it. I you know, and then add gold into the mix. I'm not really sure. I just feel like that's uh, that's part of the core gameplay loop and it is kind of missing from this mode. Um, it's something that I've kind of gotten used to having access to in Raj's mode, so. Just my thoughts on it, Dev, if you ever uh, if you ever happen across this video. And if you do ever happen across this video, I love your game, thank you so much. Oh, look at this guy. I'm just gonna, no, wait, we have to move because we do more damage, but. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's them dealt with. Wow. <laughs> oh shit, what do we got? Pork statue. Uh, yeah, we'll get a free reroll. Ooh, little frame stutter there. Oh, hello? Now pick between f reduces bosses and champions health by 30%. Yeah, we're gonna take pick between four soul cards. We're not really having too much trouble eliminating anything, he says as they almost kick his face teeth in. Oh, but look at all this XP beans. Ooh, we got a chest from a crate? Holy shit, all right, well. I'll take, I'll take it then. Absolutely, let's go. More health. 50% chance for soul gems to be attracted. A bunch more XP, yeah. Yeah, can't, uh... Can't hurt to have to travel less for XP. And this is definitely a ring of enemies. Oh, we're in the red, so that means we're in, like, the endless part of endless mode, and I think it's all, like, unscripted now, and... Or not unscripted, like, they just... Don't stop coming at me super hard, if I'm not mistaken. But as far as I know, that also means we aren't going to get any more relic drops unless apparently you can get them from crates. So I'm not really sure how all that works. What I do know, Beans, is that... That is... That clock is accelerated. It ha Yeah, that clock is definitely accelerated, or I'm losing my mind. I mean, I might be losing my mind, but it's definitely accelerated. One Mississippi... Yeah, okay. 1800% damage multiplier. All right, so yeah, things are definitely starting to get a little tougher here. Let's see how far we can make it though. So I know that this, from my past experience, is the part of the game where you just kinda, you're supposed to die eventually and you make it as far as you can. The math really starts stacking up here with how enemies are buffed. Ooh, yeah, we are taking a fair bit of damage. We might just pick a direction and stick with it at this point. 
maybe? Uh, well, the no defense might be coming back to bite us in the ass here. Yeah, I think that might about do it, Beans. And there we have it. That is Endless Mode completed as best as possible. We made it uh, 51 minutes and 55 seconds. Did 1.22 billion damage. Got to a soul level of 121. Hey, Beans. Thank you so very, very much for coming and hanging out with me today, perusing the content that I'm creating yet for y'all. I love y'all so very, very much. Thank you for all the support you've been showing. Uh, make sure you like today's video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you lovely, 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 lovely beans in the next one. Love you. Bye. Mwah. Remember, Toe Beans? Like, comment, subscribe, or else I'll cry myself to sleep tonight.